welcome to Rainbow's Mood. Today's video is about 7 gay movies released in 2021. Not many gay movies in 2021 due to the pandemic so maybe you haven't seen some of the following. Tell us which one is your favorite movie in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Dragonfly Boy is an LGBT film about transformation and acceptance. Freshly 21-year-old Graham is currently in a battle over who he is and who he loves. In a world full of opinions and self-hatred, we watch as Graham endures this struggle and how he grows with himself and the amazing people in his life around him. For me personally, the storyline is interesting but unfortunately the way it is delivered is not so wow and the language used is less sharp when compared to other similar films. Sergei is a Russian private stationed at Hopsalu Air Force Base in Soviet-occupied Estonia. He spends his off hours taking photographs of people and objects around the base, focusing his lens on a pretty flower and the pretty lips of a man across the tarmac. A handsome fighter pilot Roman is assigned to the base, the soon-to-be-discharged Sergei is tasked with driving him around. The two quickly grow close, the older man sensing Sergei's softness compared to the brash boys around him. War-themed films always give me a special impression, this film is a must-watch. Antonio is a 30 years old man, whose life finds an unexpected twist when he's suddenly dumped by his husband, whom he depends both psychologically and economically. He needs to find a new place to stay, a job and a new purpose in life. Antonio finds a room in an apartment owned by Dennis and starts to work in a bakery owned by Luca. Through this process he discovers that it was wrong of him to give up his independence for the sake of his relationship in the past. He learned many things from what he used to do and became more independent than before. Peter, a sensitive and shy teen, dreams of leaving his small northern Ontario town to pursue life as an artist, but his homophobic father intends to make him a man, instead. His father always wanted him to do all the men stuff. Peter meets Jack, who's also desperate to escape his toxic family situation. A romance quickly develops between the two teenage boys as they hide away in a secluded cabin, discovering each other and themselves. But the world outside eventually pulls them back and they're forced to face the circumstances they tried to flee, which will ultimately tear them apart. Kind of like Romeo Juliet but in the LGBT community. This film had all the elements to be extraordinary. This film is about Mario, he decides to tell his family the truth about himself. Mario is a 30 years old man and he decides to visit his family. His father is from a traditional family and Mario will tell him that he's working as a writer and living with his boyfriend, Fernando. A lot of surprises change Mario's plans and he falls in love with Anna, a consultant hired by Mario's brother, Vicente, to help to improve family's beer factory. But when he is finally ready to come out in front of the entire family, his older brother Vicente ruins his plans. Peter is preparing to enjoy his first Christmas with a boyfriend, who has unexpectedly agreed to join him back in New Hampshire to see family. But Peter's best friend Nick discovers that his new man has been lying to him. Peter is devastated but determined not to be the only single person at the table so he brings Nick back with him. He concocts a lie, that he and Nick are now in a relationship, but the facade soon drops when his mother sets him up with a handsome local trainer instead. 
But as the two start dating, the family becomes focused on trying to make a real relationship happen between Peter and Nick. Beautiful story about Greek ex-diving champion Victor lives with his sick grandmother in a seaside town in Greece. Working in a furniture factory to make a living, Victor is left devastated when she dies and her death prompts him to make a road trip to Germany to visit his estranged mother. On a ferry to Italy, Victor meets enthusiastic German student Matthias, and he reluctantly agrees to let him come along for the journey. As the two men clash, with their personalities proving to polar opposites, they unexpectedly find common ground and quickly grow closer. There are many scenes that show the beauty of the city and also the countryside in this film. The storyline is also not too heavy and ends appropriately. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a nice day.